In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install the WordPress admin theme from the WordPress repository. I'm going to show you what it is, what it does, but essentially it changes the design of the back end of the admin area of your WordPress site. So if you're tired of the same old look, WordPress admin themes are a great way to refresh the back end. If you want to white label it to put on your client websites, this is also the tutorial you'll want to watch and we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you're new here and you like WordPress tips and tricks and getting better at WordPress for yourself and your clients, click on subscribe and click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And if you like deals, I've negotiated a half off deal with InMotion Hosting. You get half off of any one of their plans that you want. It can be for yourself or for your clients or whatever. You get half off. Link in the description down below for more details. And with that out of the way, let's head to the screen capture. To add an admin theme, we do it via a plugin. So I'm gonna to go to plugins and then click on add new because the under appearance and themes, those themes are for public facing. The admin themes need to be done via a plugin because they just do. There's no space created specifically for adding admin themes as a theme. So you add them as a plugin. So we have a whole bunch. We search for admin theme inside the plugins. These are all free. You can find a bunch that are paid as well, but the free ones look pretty good. So this one here is Slate Admin Theme, 5,000 installs, five to five stars. Click on Install Now. And when I click on Activate, pay attention to how things change. Like look at the sidebar I currently have, which is the default WordPress sidebar for WordPress 4.9, and just how everything kind of appears. When we activate this, it's gonna refresh the page and it's gonna look very different. So I'm just waiting for it to reload here. And now we have a very different looking sidebar. Even the styling over in this main area is different. If we go to pages and then add new, the styling for the page editor is gonna be different. There's a lot less lines that are filled in. There's a, there's a much blockier appearance for this theme, much bigger title area. So it, it changes a bunch of stuff in your admin area. And that's what it, an admin theme does. But you can actually change these styles as well without adding a new plugin. You can do that by adding CSS to the header of all admin pages or even a dedicated admin style sheet. I have a link to two videos up in the card above to show you how to do that if that's what you want to do. Or if you'd rather have a plugin and just have it no hassles, no headaches, just install the plugin, boom, you're ready to go, you do it with a plugin. There's also a nice benefit of some of these plugins. Well, the first one is a lot less time spent doing it, but some of them will allow you to white label, essentially. So if you're creating client websites, this one here says you can add a custom logo, which means you can add a logo, your logo of your company into the client's admin area. So they always know who did it and they know who to call when, when there's any problems. So if we just install this Aquila admin theme, see how it looks. Again, this looks quite different. This is probably the logo you can update right here. It actually looks a little broken. I, I don't think it's supposed to overlap like this over here. So clearly you need to try some, some of the admin themes and see which ones work best for you or right, which ones actually work. But if we go to, here they are, Aquila under settings, it allows you to add a custom logo and allows you to change the color scheme as well, change the CSS through the plugin instead of through adding CSS to the header or a style sheet. So if, you, if you're short on time, just use a plugin like this. If you want to be more thorough, use the style sheet or add CSS directly to the header. And I'll show you how to do that in those other videos that I linked to. So that's how easy it is. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. Check out the half off for hosting deal in the description down below. And next up is clicking one of these videos on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.